I'm a dancer, and I'm a traveler. And wherever I go, I experience the world one dance at a time. I'm Michaela Malazzi, and this is Bare Feet. I said choose to Vorau, a place I hope to visit again very soon, and made my way up to Vienna, just in time to catch the very end of ball season. And my first stop in this city was to learn the imperial traditional dance, the Viennese Waltz. Dominic, tell me a little bit about the Viennese Waltz. Yeah, all right. Um, well, Viennese Waltz is a very, very old dance. It's about three to four hundred years old. Mm-hmm. Um, the real origin isn't, isn't exactly known, but we have um, a little bit of the history down in some dark archives. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, today we will take a closer look at the Viennese Waltz. Fantastic, because I need to get ready for the ball that we're going to go to yeah. later this week. So, for dancing Viennese Waltz, we need a standard uh, dancing position. We start by holding our hands and looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then we take our hands up like this, uh-huh. yes, and we try to stand uh, like a cross, maintain the same height with your arms. Okay. Okay. The other hands were closing like this, okay. and we try to maintain a certain contact around the hip. Around the hip. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My muscles are already working. Okay. Good. So relax. For okay. A Good. Okay. Good. Um, we will be doing the basic step okay. together uh, in this dancing position. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two. Three and one, two. A little trick for not getting dizzy. Yeah. Um, of course, it will take some some time. But uh, first of all, do not look at me. Don't look at you. No. <laughs> because there is a simple reason. Look at me, and we start to turn. What do you see? Just you. Oh, and the back okay. of the room is spinning. And the back of the room will be spinning like yeah. crazy. Yeah. Okay. So the easiest way to avoid this is take your head to the left and look up. Up. Yes. Viennese Waltz was very popular um, around the time of the uh, Viennese Congress after Napoleon was defeated uh-huh. and uh, Austria took um, a big part in the Congress. And uh, yeah, they partied hard <laughs> with Viennese Waltz. Um, and so do we because uh, Austria always has a very, very long and intensive um, ball season uh-huh. that starts around September, October, and it lasts until March, April. Wow, so very long season. Half yeah. of the year you guys are partying. We are, yeah, <laughs> in a traditional way. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> and with such an iconic dance comes the unmistakable one, two, three, one, two, three of the musicality of the waltz. I made my way to the Schönbrunn Palace to take a step back in time and hear some of the world's most recognizable classical music that originates right here. The main palace um, was built in the 16th century. Wow. But the orangery uh, was built around 1755. During winter time, they managed to get it warm like 10 to 15 degrees plus. Wow. Yes. It's amazing. That was enough for the lemon trees and. Yeah, for all the tropical fruit. Now, I heard a rumor that Mozart himself played in this room. Is that true? Yes, that's true. Okay. In the, in the year 1786, uh-huh. Mozart uh, played here, and you can say it, it was the first uh, time he confronted his, you can say, enemy, Salieri. Ah, yeah. Antonio Salieri, his yes. rival, his musical yes. rival in Amadeus. And I guess <laughs> it was legend, but here he really, it really happened. Yes, it really happened, yes. Interesting. And it's amazing to be able to be in the same space that Mozart yeah. was once mm-hmm. playing. What a legend. That's amazing. <laughs> Breathing the same air. Yeah, <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, yes. Since Mozart did play here, 
and I'm a huge fan of, of Mozart's, and there's a piano behind me. Would I be able to plot, try and do justice and play some a little snippet of Mozart? Hmm. <laughs> I think I've, mm, yes, okay. Okay, it's like good, a, it's a, all right. Yeah, yeah. It's like a dream to just be able to play with, uh, in the same space that Mozart has. You can try. Great, Yes. thank you, let's try it, let's try it. It's just, it's going to be beautiful. I'm excited to hear the music and, and everything. It must be a pleasure to be able to come to work every day and hear such yes. wonderful music. It's, I think it's the, one of the best places where you can work. Yeah. Yeah. To be able to hear the Blue Danube here in Vienna in this beautiful space was almost a religious experience for me. Watch this entire episode and other Barefeet Dance Adventures on your local PBS station, on the PBS app, or on pbs.org or just click right here to watch more. And be sure to find us online at travelbarefeet.com. Happy travels!